I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He who believes in me, though he died, yet shall he live. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? For I know that I redeem your live. And at last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then from my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on the side. And my eyes shall not behold another.
My brothers and my sisters, we have gathered at this hour to celebrate. We have gathered at this hour to celebrate. We have gathered at this hour to celebrate the life of Mother Lily May Washington. And I don't know what your experience was with her, but every time I met her, she was joyful, she was smiling, she was happy. And I'm told that she would walk around the church every Sunday morning praying. So when the Lord calls someone like that home, yeah. we celebrate. Yeah.
1 through 10. And the word goes according. In the NIV version. God is your refuge and strength. An ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear who the earth gives away. And the mountains fall into the hearts of the sea. Though its water roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their song. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, and the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is with her, within her. She will not fall. God would help her at break of the day. Nations are uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, and the earth melts. And the Lord Almighty with us, and God and Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolation he has brought on earth. He makes the war cease to the ends of earth. He breaks, he breaks and bows and shatters the fields, fears, and he burns the shields with fire. He said, be still and know that I am God, and I will exalt among the nations, and I will exalt in the earth. A word from God to a people of God. Our New Testament reading, 1 Corinthians 15, beginning at verse 51. Listen, I am telling you a mystery. We will not all fall asleep, but we will be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, or the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we will be changed, because this corruptible must be clothed with incorruptibility, and this mortal must be clothed with immortality. Now, when this corruptible is clothed with incorruptibility and this mortal is clothed with immortality, then the same that is written will take place. Yeah. Death yeah. has been swallowed up in victory. Yeah. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? Now, the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, be sick, immovable, always excelling in the Lord's work, knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. God's word for God's people. At this time, we will have words of comfort. Pastor John B. and Mrs. Dolores Moody. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah. 
from the Living Water Faith Church to Sister Anne and her family. It is a privilege and it's also an honor to speak on behalf of Miss Washington. Miss uh, Washington was a Jew. Miss Washington, uh, matter of fact, she walked in the fruit of the Spirit. Some of y'all may not know what the fruit of the Spirit is, but she walked in. And, and all, of her, all of her life that I knew her, she walked in the fruit of the Spirit. And I'm going to read to you Galatians 5, 22 and 23, what the fruit of the Spirit is.
friends, and loved ones will gather around to comfort you as much as they can. The Holy Spirit, however, will be with you always, even during the quiet times. The comforting ministry of the Holy Spirit is the secret of strength in times of weakness. And I want to allow me to share this prayer with you and encourage you to pray it daily to experience God's loving care during this time. Father, thank you for your love. It is your love that brings me ease and strength. Thank you for friends who love and pray for me. While I pray you for your concern for me, I know that you will never leave me, nor will you forsake me. I have confidence in you and trust the confident ministry again of the Holy Spirit to guide me through this time. Thank you for your peace, your protection in this hour of sadness because of your strength. Father, I thank you that I can do all things through Christ and strength and strength. Amen. And you get a copy of this letter and this prayer. You uh, pray this prayer today.
and we're asking that you would stay within the two minutes. Amen. I know you have got, you know, okay, Lee, of 86 years, and you don't have lots of stories to tell. <laughs> but I'm going to encourage you to tell some of them at the repast. Okay? <laughs> Amen. 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 I will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. And praise Him continue to be in my mouth. All right. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And we will talk His name forever. We're going to our pastor. My pastor. All of my pastor. <laughs> Reverend Shipman. Dr. Norman. Dr. Norman. Dr. Williams. Reverend Roundtree. Reverend Swaggart. Reverend Sheila. All y'all. Good morning. I can I can stand here longer than three minutes, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it too. Two, 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 two. Yeah. I know Miss Lynn May from Collegeville. Growing up in Collegeville. My mother and her grew up about the same time. I knew her. She used to walk through the neighborhood singing this. <laughs> and she lived around the corner from me, had a son named Zip. My sister went to school with him. And Miss Lily made love. And today, she loved her, her, her granddaughters. And she loved Hope. <laughs> Many years ago, she used to do mission work, and I was young man coming out of college, and she said, I want to help you learn how to serve. So she took me to a Baptist campus, oh, yeah. and I would go her to Conway, and they would take me in this little in a red and white Cadillac on second Sunday, very much. And we would go, and we would mission to young men locked up. But she taught me how to serve. All right. And we just want to let you know that Miss Lily May was a major out of this church. Yes. She would strike up a song without music like we sing along. Hey. She didn't mind singing by herself. Hey. And all of these ministers up here, she loved them all. Hey. She, she was a real missionary. Oh, yes. And as I get ready to take my seat, okay. may the road rise and meet you. And may the wind be at your back. And may the sunlight of Jesus Christ grace your cheek. And may rain gently fall upon your field, and may God keep you in the hall of God's hand until we see Miss Living May. Go in peace. Amen. Thank you. 
walk a step or two of your mother and grandmother's steps, uh, you will see again and know that Miss Johnson and the Hopewell family love you. church to different events and uh, programs we had over, over, over at Rivers and Little Waters. And uh, she would always have a smile. She would always be smiling. And you know sometimes and we had some lengthy conversations from time to time. Uh, we was watching and, and, and I just thank God for that time that uh, the type of person she was and like um, like my first lady and, and, and Pastor Newton said earlier about she she walked in the fruit of the spirit. Amen. She did that, and uh, and so with the love that she had, and uh, the thing is that like her daughter Ann, uh, because see Ann was uh, with me and my wife when we got married. She was one of the bridesmaids, uh, so that's how long we know that. I'm not gonna say how long we get married, but uh, and, and she was her, her sweet daughter Sue as well. 
know, Tamika and Rashika, you know, they were, they were like, they take out the memo. I, I mean, I'm not saying they don't take out you. <laughs> they, they really, you know, they, they show the love to you as well. And, uh, and also, I just want to tell you all this. Uh, I just want to leave this with you um, to know that this, uh, uh, she didn't really, she really didn't, she really didn't you didn't lose her. Because anything lost, you don't know where it is. Yeah, I know. So, so you know where she is. Right? Because of the life that she lived. And the life that she lived, you know. So uh, we just don't remember the thing is that she passed. She transitioned. You know. So listen to, listen to this. I want you to grab hold to this. To the family. I want you to grab hold of this. She passed on the a sickness. She passed on the funeral home. Mm. She, she passed over the grave. Mm. Because see, the word said that the angels that had charge over her, mm. the moment that she accepted Christ as a personal Savior, mm. were the same angels that ushered her into the presence of God the moment she came outside of the So I need to leave that with you to know that hey, you know where she is. So don't go around saying that I lost my mother. No, you didn't lose your mother because you know where she is. You know? So she's in the presence of God. And I want to leave that with you and the family. And uh, because I know, I, I know your, your uh, Talika, uh, I know your grandma loved y'all. She did love you. Because y'all need to help bring some type of problems and stuff. No, y'all didn't bring no If they ain't didn't bring, y'all were going to go to our church. We had different things. Okay, so I just want to leave you with that and, and, and be praying for you. And for God's continued peace and comfort that pass all understanding as you keep that perfect peace, as you keep your hearts and minds stable on Christ Jesus. Amen. We love you. You're right. We love you. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen.
would have been coming in there instead of saying, Mama Washington, I would have been saying, I need to all show up. And I'm going to just tell you about, um, this is just a testament to her life. Um, today, present, uh, are three of her pastors. And if Reverend Moon were here today, he would be right here. Yeah. Reverend Raymond Swafford, Reverend Roosevelt Williams, who you'll hear from in just a moment. And then <clears throat> Reverend Cheryl Shipman. I teased them before and I said, all of us have pastored here at Hope Left Church. For being the only female, I'm the prettiest. <laughs> 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 Amen. At this time, our program calls for resolutions and acknowledgments. The family of Mrs. Linda May Washington expresses sincere gratitude to all for every deed demonstrated through your kind kindness, prayers, cards, and words of comfort during this delicate time. Our hearts are truly touched by your thoughtfulness shown towards us. We are grateful to the UAB medical staff for their ongoing care. We specially give thanks to our devoted caregiver, Janice Robinson, for the loving care offered to our mother and grandmother. Your unwavering love and attentiveness were a blessing to our family and, not, and did not go unnoticed. To our mother and grandmothers, Hopewell AME Church family, thank you for welcoming her into this ministry and giving her place to serve to the fullness <coughs> of her capacity. Over the years, you have supported, visited, prayed, and loved on her in a special way. And we thank you for your presence then and today, the family. Amen. At this time, it gives me great gives me a great privilege and an honor to present to you her former pastor, who will bring words of eulogy, Reverend Roosevelt Williams. Thank you. Amen. 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 Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Jesus, 
and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Just wanted to talk to your family for a while this morning about the cost of worshiping Jesus. The cost of worshiping Jesus. Linda made sure Washington paid the cost. Are you willing to pay the cost of worshiping Jesus? How costly is your worship? How extravagant is your praise? There's a cost to worshiping Jesus. I'm not going to get off that time until y'all hear, but there's a cost. Yeah. It has to be something yeah. to worship the Jesus. Yeah. Everybody's not going to like you yeah. worship the Jesus. Yeah. Everybody's not going to praise the Lord with you. Yeah. Everybody's not going to be happy because you're happy. Yeah. There is a cost. Yeah. Some will talk about you. Yeah. Some will make fun of you. Yeah. you got to be like sugar. You really don't care. You're a God's yeah. way. John chapter 12, John chapter 11, we know the story of Martha yeah. running to Jesus and yeah. saying, Lord, the one you love yeah. is sick. Yeah. And we know the conversation that they had about, you know, what about Jesus being a resurrection. Yeah. Then Martha, Mary came, yeah. little sister came, and she said, Lord, if you had been here, yeah. my brother would have been here. Yeah. Said, and Jesus said, you know, he called himself the resurrection because he is the resurrection yeah, yeah, and the life. Yeah. But he told him, he said, where have you laid him? Yeah. And Jesus said, remove the stone. Yeah. Right, remove those hindrances, those things that stop us yeah. from seeing Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Move the stone. And Martha said, Lord, by this time, you know, it's been four days. Yeah. I'm sure there's a stench. Yeah. He said, move the stone. Yeah. And Jesus called with a loud voice and said, Lazarus. Come forth. Yeah. Yeah. He came forth, bound hand and foot. Yeah. He said unto them, loose him and let him go. Yeah. That's the kind of ministry today. We can loose each other. Yeah. And that's where I'm going. And let it go. 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 Let it In chapter 12. Yeah. Lazarus now, not dead in the more precious yeah. water. He's sitting at a table. Mm -hmm. See, they had these little tables, almost like what we call a coffee table. They yeah. sit at a table, chairs. They were sitting around four or five rounds on round tables, and they would kind of lean on each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was more of intimacy. So Jesus was there as a guest. Lazarus was there, and there were others that were there. Yeah. And Martha was serving. Nothing wrong with serving. But there was a time to worship. Yeah. She was serving and doing all of that. But little sister Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus. Yeah. And Mary did something very interesting. Mary had a jar of spike on it. And poured it in from northern India. Yeah. Yeah. Worth about a year's wages to the average laborer. Yeah. So this was worth something. Yeah. This cost something. Yeah. Yeah. She was saving it for a special occasion. Yeah. And she said, my Jesus is here. Yeah. Not cool. Mm -hmm. 
See how the pretty pastor, you know, she said she was pretty as a pastor. Well, she would only let it down for God. <laughs> but because she had a relationship with Jesus, yeah. she oh, unbound her heart. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. There's yeah. some kind of grace. Yeah. There's some kind of worship. Yeah. That cost us just everything because most of some folk were talking. Yeah. Yeah. Some folk were making fun. Yeah. Yeah. Some folk were saying you're wasting your yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. My friend Judas said you should have sold it.
resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? For I know that my Redeemer lives and at last he will stand upon the earth. After my skin has been up to destroyed, then in my flesh shall I die and not another.